energy again. We have cons we have region. She's gonna temper the change. She's gonna sap me. So I could do some region spike stuff. I could, it's not as bad. Sap is not as bad versus the other one. And we got some card draw with healing. Nice. So we can do Snekawai or we can do more spike damage per stack. Snekawai makes para production a little bit awkward because it's a zero cost that gives me energy. But Snekawai has a lot of other things going for it. Like for instance, there's an Umbra unit called Shadow Siege we can find and other things. Yeah, exactly. If I'm below power health. I shouldn't take bad trials. It's, it's just, I've, I've lost a lot of runs doing that. Absolutely. A crucible here and just go for spike stuff. You really don't like Snake Eye here? Okay, let's try it. I've never tried Perch Spike Crucible, so let's give it a whirl. Let's look for spikes. Boom, we got spikes. Well, that's nice. Now, Snake Eye is very good because you can build. Getting it early means you can build around it, absolutely. But we also know that this lady does a counter spike, so it feels a little bit better to um, try to go spike oriented. I can't go lady in the back. Rip. I'm missing 50 gold. We missing now 50 gold. More health is always good. I wish I could kill Lady in the back, but I can't, you know? I have a lot of region, though. And GG. That's 10 region, 10 spikes, but that does 20 damage per. Really strong early. Channel song, Razor Sharp Edge. Uh, an early channel song is nuts, I feel like. That's so good. An early channel song? That's really nice. Life Steal? Do we, we aren't targeted damage, right? So Life Steal is actually not that good for what the, the things we're going. The problem with Spikes, though, it doesn't kill, like, for instance, overcharged tanks. We, we still need to be able to kill big health units. So how do we kill big health units? We still need, like... A scaling unit that can handle big health stuff. You wish there was a swap for a Nate? Yeah, that would be interesting. Go for an Umber unit. We still need something a scaler. So let's check out what this is. Large stone. Okay. So we can be like look for animate. Okay. No, we, we're going Umbra. So we have large stone, battle stone, and dam uh, damage shield. Okay. What do we got? A large stone shadow eater does AOE. Then we also have spikes. I guess I'll do both. I, I, I'm a fan of shadow eater. Let's just make him a big beefy boy. Let's make him a big beefy boy. I think maybe going for animus would have been better because animus has like better. It does more for me what I want to do. We don't care at all about the spikes here. The problem is they have haste, so I need to kill the hasters on uh, as soon as I can. And we should be able to do that with either Sensing or Shadow. So, do I do Shadow and... Shadow bottom and then I do Sensing mid? Does it matter?
Oh, wait, he can't even. Oh my god, he can't even eat. He can't even eat. <laughs> uh, losing to haste now. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't notice that he has minus one pip. Like, let's pretend this didn't happen. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Nah, it's because I got minus one pip space on that floor. Oh, whoopsies. I mean, both these are actually kind of counterintuitive. Spikes and AoE is kind of counterintuitive, actually. They're kind of counterintuitive. I want to save room in the back for a channel song unit. Give her some health, I guess. I'll put something in the back like this. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I still need to heal my dude. Ah, uh, we should win. Yeah, all our lanes are taken care of. Double region. GG. I mean, all I have is transfer, so I just want like a big beefy transfer in the back. I just gotta be mindful of the pip space. So, restore health to your friendly unit and do damage to the front. That could be useful. That could help kill big health units. That could be a good way to kill big health units, actually. Maybe that's how we do it. So, big health things we kill with like spells. Yeah, I think so. Feast. Packed morsels. Packed morsels um, can help feed the shadow eater, but shadow is a little bit awkward actually, considering the AoE doesn't mean as much with the spikes being a thing. Feast doesn't really mean that much either. Feast can sometimes give me energy. I can play it and eat some energy stuff and get have it, you know, but it might be awkward. Mind collapse for more targeted damage is also not that good because we have good AoE, good spike damage. So it's packed morsel or skip, I think. I mean, I guess feast is sometimes useful for. Um, Eating the energy morsels right away, or like trying to get some scaling and then putting more stuff down. But for the most part, this looks like a skip. I'm trying to see packed morsels. Like packed morsels could be good, but it's also I think this deck just wants to kind of like go all in on spikes and kind of just clean up a little bit, remove some trains towards, remove some of the bad stuff. And I think it has a, a singular goal here. Things we got to make sure we can kill big health units. That's all. So this does feel like a skip here, actually. Like Marshall is not bad yet, it consumes, it's not bad. Upgrade spells or upgrade hell vent. So, so or duplicate, I mean. Alright, so if we were to duplicate, we duplicate channel song for consistency. We can also duplicate, I guess, another spell that does damage. Mm, we can also upgrade that spell as well. If we upgrade the spell with magic power, then that could be a really good way to kill the big health things. So I think Merchant Magic is kind of interesting for the Restoration Detonation. Because if I get this to be a little bit bigger, then we can actually have the spell power damage. Let's say we get this like permafrost and magic power, then we can always have it in our hand, ready for the big health things. Because that's the biggest threat. That's the biggest threat here. So we need to get magic power on it. Boom. And if we get double stack, wait, double stack on um on region. Ten region is pretty legit. Or do we want to save our money for something else? I feel like ten region is pretty legit. Uh, Restoration magic power is really good. I guess it's either permafrost or holdover. I think permafrost, I can save it for with the big things. If I get holdover, then I can just use it consistently. The things I need to take damage for it to be holdover means I need to take damage consistently. And if I do region, I can't really heal. You know what I mean? Like, if I do region, then I, I can't actually use restoration that well. Do I remove consume on channel song? How good is that really? That means that I could, um, I could hit my other train stewards. <laughs> oh my god. So, we can do mind collapse, so it's, it's better, better targeted damage. 
Do we do double magic power restoration? I think we want to get permafrost to hold over restoration. So I'm gonna do magic power mind collapse here. And let's make let's make focus go free. I guess it's pretty good. I guess I could have seen what this is. I could have upgraded this as well. I know it's totally bad. Nuruku's machine or something doesn't make a lot of sense. Ooh, so we can duplicate something five times. Uh, five times or one time. So would we ever duplicate restored gr focus grove five times because it draws two the following turn? We should get a spike fire. Yeah, that would be sick, right? S stack up spikes. Stacking up region is also really strong. The thing is, if I stack up region. I'm making Restoration kind of a useless card. That's the only problem. If I duplicate Focus Growth, zero cost, heal a lot, which also makes Restoration a useless card, but it keeps drawing too, so I have a lot, I have a lot of draw. I don't really have the best duplication targets, but for me, it feels like Restoration, uh, this Focus Growth at least draws too, so I maybe have one bad turn, but then from there, I just like, I have a lot of card draw. And it's a lot, that's a lot of uh, focus growth. And now, I, my thing's gonna be so healthy that it's gonna be hard to restoration, so we're gonna have to figure this out. Because I said big health units should be the biggest problem here. I need to put it in top lane because it needs to be able to eat morsels. Ow. If I put a morsel on top, I can kill the things in the back. Um, I, just, I, might, I might take some pyro damage, but not a lot. It's okay. Need health on this guy. Give attack damage to this guy as well. I've I seen a morsel on... Um, we need a we need a morsel for the top lane here. It's really important. We didn't get a morsel. Fuck. It's okay. It's not that big of a deal actually. It's a lot of focus growth. <laughs> it's kind of an awkward card if you think about it. Did I just do this and kill these things? I'm gonna take power damage anyways. I did get the five card event, yes, and I duplicated my Impulse Grove. Channel Song, you ready? I should have checked that out first. Oh, does that bother me? Does that, like, make me lose? God, Jeremy, why did I do that? Does that make me lose? <laughs> I don't think so. I have all this region though, it's like... I kinda wanna wait. Restoration here? That doesn't really do much. Give life still. I'm gonna kill him in the top lane. Take care, bitch. We 
We're gonna draw a shit ton of cards. We've got on card draw, that's for sure. Alright, the deck just needs some work here. Okay, so spending spores, I could keep adding region and spikes, which is I guess what we kinda what we want to do, but spikes are pretty good. And we if we upgrade the spell to do and we also have enough card draw. So if we make the spores a little bit cheaper, we have enough cards to keep doing spores. And then we just get a lot of spikes. And if we get enough high enough spikes, we can kill any big health unit. So I feel like spores is probably the highest ceiling just because Depending on how many spikes we get, let's say we get double stack and like reduction, double stack reduction and then or like double stack holdover or something. Um, double stack reduction carp and then maybe we just get enough spikes we can kill anything. The thing is we need to start moving more cards now. Overgorge, I don't think I need it anymore. Animus, I don't think we need any of these. I think that, do we want pip space or do you want to actually have energy? So does energy help us play spreading spores more often? Double stack reduction would be insane, right? Double stack reduction would be game winning. So do we actually want energy to, to make sure in, so we can play more things? Or do we actually want to do pip space so channel song is not as useless? Pip space doesn't feel as good here, actually. Pip space makes me less uh, restricted with Shadow Eater. Let's put some energy here. And yeah, we have really good card draw. And I think we... Want to be able to play as many spores as possible, so energy is really good. In fact, we also want to look for removal and artifacts here, I think. So, as far as upgrades are concerned, Merchant of Steel, we do want to upgrade. Man, we actually don't have upgrades. And I can get Umber Union, which would be insane, but I think we just actually want removal here. And it just becomes a spore deck. Unions cost less. Enemies applied. That's really good. Light Skip is really nice. But Eunice, Eunice costing less doesn't really do that much for me. It's always the days here. More spikes. Now our damage scaled up a lot. So now we actually can kill some big health units because the spike damage is getting pretty decent. It's 40 spike damage right now. They're going to have armor. How bad is that for me? Well, the Absolver kills itself, right? Because I do 40 damage with spikes, so the armor doesn't b bother me that much. We're not going to do spikes top floor, though. That's the thing. We're never doing spikes top floor. I don't have a lot of units at all, I know. I wish I had a... Thing to do damage. That's why you apply top floors so you can kill these things. Oh wait, but she's dazed, right? Ah, uh, so maybe I can draw into mind collapse, right? Maybe I can draw into mind collapse. Maybe I draw mind collapse, right? Boom, we fit, found it. Beautiful. We got our spores. We gotta get that going. Restoration is not bad either, right? More spores. Mind collapse. Shade splitter. This guy up top. More focus growth. We draw nine cards here, so we get to actually find our. Um, hopefully. Uh, Channel Song? No unit available for Channel Song. So I can't even put like a train steward in the back. <laughs> that sucks, because even when I want to do like the uh, like a transfer in the back, I don't have it. The deck's a little bit awkward right now. We just gotta get into our sh spores here. 
It's gotta get into the spores. I guess I can put one transfer here. But then if I get channel slot coming up. I guess if I put one channel slot coming up, I guess I can put a top lane, I guess. No, yeah, I can put a top lane. Okay. Let's put one right here. And I'll, I'll hold on. I'm also wasting region kind of early. I should probably wait. Draw thick deck. Well, the way the game works is that it makes your deck thick but without you doing anything. So I've actually added not that many cards. The deck is just thick because of... Because of the Covenant stuff. Covenant stuff, indeed. We got 13 region. We leave Marshall so that, that's actually interesting. We got DJ, we win. And luckily, the boss doesn't counter this. So we just gotta get some upgrades on this uh, spores, and I think this deck's complete. Swap, draw one each turn. We don't need that much card draw, right? This is probably just a skip. We can put a custodian somewhere and get even more card draw, and I guess that goes well with our strategy of playing as many spores as possible. So I mean, I don't. It doesn't bother me. I guess Channel Song could hit that. Uh, so here's what Covenant level does. Another dead weights. So we have two dead weights now, and then we get uh, another copy of our clan starter, then another copy of. Um, of the primary clan starter, and then another copy of the allied clan, and then another copy of the primary. Rotation and Shadow Eater. Make him have 100 health. But then he has like. How is he gonna survive with 20 health though? That's the thing. Is 20 health kind of low? Twenty health is just a little bit low, you know. You put Marshall's in front. You think so? They can do hundred damage, put Marshall's in front. What about just going card draw and going full in on spore stacking? I could also just skip there. Caven. Caven could be useful. So they can go to the spikes again, right? Spikes round two. My deck's getting so large, it's just like, I don't know if it's just bloat or not. I can make them do spikes round two. But it doesn't work on bosses. You can't keep caving in the bosses. So it's useful for like the pre boss stuff. But the boss will die anyways to spikes, right? So we get. This is perfect. We get removal and we get merchant upgrades. This is perfect. I actually don't need all these, like, uh, restores are pretty bad now. The stores are pretty, uh, some of these restores are pretty bad. So hold over on Caven, really? So you just keep doing it on the, uh, the units so they keep dying to the spikes? Is that just game over? You'd rather do that instead of, like, hold over spores? I guess you want double stack for spores, right? Nah, because Resto, I've actually never never full life because I have so much region. I'm never full life. I mean, I'm never not full life. So Resto's not that good. That's the problem. I just keep making me hitting the spikes constantly. And then I get double stack here. Um... I guess I want like um, permafrost and restoration, but again, restoration is no longer useful. I think this deck is already the deck kind of already solves itself. Actually, we just keep holdovering on the spike unit and just keep it alive. And I want to get make one of these restorations like get out of my deck, and I want to purge some of these restorations. I don't need all of them. In fact, I want to purge two of them. And maybe get rid of some of these shade splitters. I just remove some stuff from the deck, and the deck is like pretty good. I, I'm just about to solve the game here. 
They get spell shield, I don't care about that. Yeah, you make a copy of that exact card. So whatever that cop is, you get it. whatever the card is, you get an exact copy of it. So the problem here is gonna be the overcharged tank. And we already discussed that it's gonna be a problem. So let's find a way to make overcharged tank not so much of a problem. I can't even feed did I fuck up again? I can't feed him morsels. I fucked up again. Just gave him in. Alright, fine. Keep I just keep giving him in. Ah, but this is gonna make This is gonna make him get stronger. Alright, we're gonna cave him in. That's the goal is we're gonna we're gonna top deck cave in right now. Wait, does special block cave in? Uh, they just they can never leave this floor. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, man. They can never leave this floor. <laughs> now I gotta draw mind collapse. Cause I gotta kill this uh collector. Wait, so what what happens when I um Does it doesn't like they overstack though? How does that work? If there's more than seven units. Of the enemy, so it's more than seven units of the enemy and more than seven units of mine, right? So I can put a state splitter here, but they can't have more than seven enemies, so that doesn't bother me. So I can do this. <laughs> Holy shit! And we got to kill this because she was dazed. Oh, we solved the game. The trash compactor build. Wait, but now this is a problem because. I can't cave in now. Fuck. Wait, now I just lost. Cave in next turn eventually. I can cave in some of them, right? And then I okay. Wait, why am I dying so hard? Holy shit. It's bad time for boss. Other oh, days, right? Okay. Okay, now I'm curious though. Um Do I cave in top so I buy time for boss? I do, right? <laughs> Freaking the game, baby. Let's get this out of the deck. GG. So we don't need any of this stuff. I guess four regions pretty good. Well, we don't need any of this stuff. I think your deck's done. Let's do spike sport colony. We need to get double spike sport colonies game over. Crucible extension? Nah. I don't need any of this stuff. The deck's done. We just gotta clean it up. The problem is when they get overstacked though, so I need to do more spikes. Oh, so we just want to find double stack spore colony, right? Or do we do hell vent to double the spore and just do that, do it faster? But I mean, I guess getting an artifact would be good too. And we also want to find double stack on the spores. So what's more important, double stack spores or just duplicate spores? I guess caverns is sometimes useful. Let's go for the artifacts here and let's go maybe see what we get in terms of magic power means I get more reduction. I mean more healing and more damage. It can be sometimes useful. Wait, is this gold? 
Let's be honest, we don't really care about magic power. I mean, it helps with my, my healing, but... It's also kind of negligible. It could just be gold. Unless I want the some health. I heal for infinite pretty much anyways, yeah. I double stack here. So the only thing I want is permafrost is like restoration detonation in, in a pinch, right? To kill big health things. That's the only thing I want is permafrost. Or is it even just a waste of gold at this point? I mean, this is probably the only thing I want is permafrost. So that if there is something big health that I need to kill, I can use this. Other than that, it's um, it looks like I just a waste of gold, and I reroll here. I mean, I wouldn't mind permafrosting this. At the same time, I don't think it's that important. Anything I want to reduce? Um, I could reduce these. Also, I want to make my restores get out of my deck. So we're going to re remove Shade Splitters. What do we get? Double stack? Got another holdover. There's nothing else that really wants holdover, right? I, instead of double stack, I could do holdover spreading spores. It's so Rocket ABC. First time on your stream, you usually watch YouTube. Do you have any tips on how to start with Umbra, given when barely has units to play early game? Um, well, welcome to the stream, by the way. Some tips I would say are try to find a way to JRM love JRM wave. Too crafty thanks for chilling stuff three months. Welcome back, dude. Other oh, big streams are sucking up more viewers, yeah. Damn, sucks, huh? Some some of these streamers have a monopoly on viewers, it's crazy. Okay, I'm just staying in my own lane. I'll do my YouTube videos and stay in my own lane, you know? Do my thing. What I was going to say, though, is that tip, okay, tip for Umbra. When I first played Umbra, I, I basically, I did some Penumbra stuff. In my early game with that, I was making Penumbra a big beast. So I, I did, I have videos on it, like big gluttonous Umbra. You can do, stack her up, have a way to do AoE damage in some lane. Um, you can do big trample Umbra and do stuff like that. I mean, early game, it just comes down to, you might have to lose some power health early game, but just look for units that, can scale or like units that can scale with gorge or do other things and you want to find a way to do aoe and targeted damage and from there everything should start piecing itself together and life is actually a pretty good stat remember life is a pretty good stat for some of these units so what what's hold over here nothing right is it just um do i want to keep holding on for a double for a double stack on spores or just do hold over make this Inundate my deck sooner. If I inundate my deck, if I do this, then I'm gonna get spores. It's, it's gonna be a little bit crazy. I might get too many spores too quickly. I think. So maybe we just grief for double stack then. Restoration has the ability to heal for forty and deal two hundred damage. Oh no, but I don't want to make it consume. Uh, do I want all my reaches to get out of the deck? Yes, because I have restored, I have focused growth, so uh, we're gonna keep removing some of these shade splitters. I think you're red eyes. Multi strike. Well, multi strike, you're right in my wheelhouse. Appreciate it. Things we need to find. Um, we need to find Caven immediately. Found it. I'm actually gonna be inundated with spores in a sec. Just keep caving in. <laughs> Channel song, finally. I can do it on the custodian. Hey, sick. 
That's actually, finally, the first time Shadow Song is amazingly useful. Love it. I'm gonna hold over this guy next turn anyways, right? I mean, Kaven. <laughs> Let's see what we get here. Maybe we can stack up some of our... Might as well give my, my guy some stuff, right? And these are all... I want these to be out of my deck. You had a blessed run of the scene, a clean combo last night. It's cracking. Come down, my darlings. Come down. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Now I need a harvester. Wait, what if I get a harvester now? That's kind of sick. Oh, they all die now. The damage is done. Oh, it's it's final thing. Uh, there we go. Call is the trash compactor build. All my eggs are in this basket 100%. Swap health. That could be good for the guy in the top lane, I guess. The guy in the top lane, if they happen to get through, he has 100 damage to smack you up, right? And then we now we cave him in. So now we just want Cardro, right? Or do we want... Energy so we can keep playing more spores. Let me think. If I get card draw, I keep I can get into setup sooner. I can find my spores sooner and get set up. If I do energy, I could play more spores per turn. I think we want card draw so we can get cave in sooner and just sit set up sooner. The thing is we have almost too much card draw. Maybe it's always energy, because with focus growth we have too much card draw. But the card draw here just gives me the time to set up. Um do we want cavern and Unit upgrade, or do we want re more removal and trinkets? I don't really care about trinkets as much. Don't we already have spec artifact though? Oh, apply more stacks of this right. You can apply apply more stacks of um, apply more stacks. So we have so much card draw. I think maybe energy is better just to play more spores. But let's see, apply more stacks. For... So these are not it, right? There's one that says, when you apply a stack of spikes, you get an extra stack or something. The 10 card deck achievement, I haven't done that. No, I'll be curious to try that though. And now we got a lot of spikes. Oh my god, 40 spikes, 80 damage, and then 120 life. Wow, 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 wow. 400 coins so we can start looking for these trinkets coming up. 
That's a huge upgrade. A lot of health, so I don't die as easily, and then a lot of spike damage. And we're gonna put this guy on top, and we're gonna cave him down. So we just need to get all of our cards set up. This is this is the reason why we want to get set up, right? So now we do. Um, I think that switches. We gotta find cave in ASAP. We got, we got our cards all going. The cave in, we do this now. Oh, she's gonna die anyways, right? Uh, I can just do it now. This guy's gonna reach the pyre. That's eh, okay. Let's get the gold. We gotta find cave in. There it is. Do we cave in the gilded wings so I don't. Does that just hit the pyre? I take what? 20 damage? It's whatever. Alright, so. Let's start getting spores going. Okay. Um. <laughs> Ridiculous. Let's go ahead and cave in. And there we go, adaptive. So now we do it on him. He does 100 damage. Cave in again. And we got more spores. I forgot to play one of the spores, unfortunately. I actually didn't have enough energy there. This is what I was talking about energy-wise. Uh, now I play one less spore. That could be a problem, but... We got mind collapse. That could help with energy, right? Cave in. Restoration Nation to stay alive. Just kidding. Focus growth is what I do. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, then just in case. She's beating me. Uh, never mind, I win. I had restoration actually. Now he's alive. It makes me feel better. A cycle of life good or is it just oh wait bramble light bramble lash wait bramble lash bramble lash bramble lash is op is like overpowered right isn't it too much do I even need it isn't cycle of life better because cycle cycle of life is expensive though. Cycle Life gives me more health so I can have more spikes, right? So every bit of health goes a longer way for every spike. For every spike. But Cycle Life is too expensive. I would have to like... Wait, is there a, a merchant? Magic? Okay, merchant of magic. And then I could... Um, I could duplicate... I could lower the cost of Cycle Life to one. Let's go for the Bramble Lash. Void Binding. I can also just reduce and dupe lash as well. Alright, let's, let's see what the, the, the shrink is first. Maybe we get the... Uh... Did I reroll hoid? Uh, reroll? Eh, we didn't find it. Are any of these good? Trader Scroll could be good, right? Because Trader Scroll... I actually have a decent amount of consume. Maybe Trader Scroll is fine. I, I think that could help me out, no? Just in case things get by me. Alright, what do we remove now? Are we still trying to make morsels or do we not care anymore? I 
don't even think we're making morsels anymore. Do we even want wild one custodian? This is it's not even an umber deck, to be honest. Wait, holdover wants to go on Bramble Lash? Or is that gonna be too much? I'm gonna be keep I'm gonna keep caving in and then I also have Bramble Lash with Holdover. We wanna find double stack. Let's find double stack here. Double stack. Uh, we didn't find it. Let's make this cheaper. Do I, do I remove consume on this? I keep applying region? Make spores even cheaper. I can reroll now. Oh, I just lost my reroll. Re Make, make sports free? Yeah, you're right. Make sports free. Fuck, it's too late now, isn't it? That's a problem. So what do we what do we remove then? Pro Pro's production is no longer good then? It's useful sometimes in the early game, but now it's no longer good. I like how this gives me energy though. But the thing is I um and sports is no longer it's not free. So what would want to be duplicated? Is it a um Yeah, that's only two damage, Mr. Del 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 is two damage. It's not that much. What do I even duplicate at this point? Double cave in so we find it sooner, I mean. Double Bramble is like, one is probably enough. I, I remember, I'm kind of gated by energy now because I, I, I got rid of some of my energy stuff. I mean, caving basically means I can find... Um, if I find it sooner, basically. Because that one is enough to do everything I want. Just find caving just in case things get by me. But once I play one of them, it's just like already, it's already, you know, keep going. Mind Collapse gives me energy. Collapse does give me energy, actually. Colla so if I kill things with Mind Collapse, I get energy. That's probably the best thing. But they need to be low health things. This is always this, though. 100%. It's actually a little bit more streamlined. Yeah, she spawns three health enemies. Shino Song? Wait, Shino Song hits my thing. Now we gotta find Cave in. Shino Song hit my thing. Beautiful. I forgot to kill the guy at the top. Oh, who cares? This could have been a perfect fight. Who cares? See, this is where you want Cave in, right? Where's my cave in? I guess we'll find cave in. It's okay. I want to play adaptive mutation, but uh. Taking Bardem is not a big of a deal.
This won't be perfect. How do we do this now? Wait, I forgot to heal him first. Oh my god. Oh my god. No one talk about it, please. Let's just not talk about it. Nope. Let's not talk about it. Nope. Nope, we're not talking about it. I just missed out. <laughs> oh my god, I should have just healed them. Whoops. Okay, the deck's done though. Damn, I lost so much stats out of that, but it shouldn't matter, right? It shouldn't matter. I also lost health on him too, though. Uh, if I did too many spores, I want to have too many in my deck, right? Is there such a thing? I feel like there might be such a thing. I have too many spores. Hey, what's up, Eric? GG! <laughs> well, that's easy. Could have made it perfect, but it's okay. Beautiful. As long as she doesn't get rid of the stuff from my unit, I just go in and spikes and region, and it's literally just like that. But well, we just played Umbra. You want Umbra main? We just played Umbra. We played Umbra.